I've heard that you want to learn some rotoscoping. Let's do it. Hey guys, my name is Sarat and I create video and motion graphics tutorials here on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, please drop a like. This is going to help me a lot. Now let's dive in. Okay guys, so we're in After Effects now and we're gonna start with the first technique. The first technique, I'm gonna need the pen tool and I will draw a mask around the object I wanna be on the front. So I wanna put the text behind this bale of hay. So I'll select the video, I'll select the pen tool from here and I'll quickly draw a mask in After Effects. It's, it needs to be done pretty well. So I'll just draw the mask here and I'll close it off. So this is the mask, uh, I'll click on M on the keyboard and I'll change this to none. So now the mask is not affecting the layer uh, and we're gonna click with the right button here and click on track mask and we're gonna see this tracker window appearing here. Uh, we can change the method depending on what type of footage we have. So I have this bay of hay that is changing perspective a bit. So. I think it's, I'm gonna get the best result if I put the method into perspective. Probably you're gonna have it position scale and rotation as a default, but I think it's better to select a perspective, at least in my case. So I'll select perspective and I and I'll click the play button. Now After Effects is gonna start tracking the footage. This method is really good for objects that are in a right shape. For example, if you have a circle, a square, some sort of a rectangle, something that doesn't change its shape too much in the video, it's gonna work best with this method. But for this example, uh, this bale of hay is gonna change perspective, but it's still going to produce a pretty good result. Okay, so we have the tracking now. Let's check what we have. It seems to be working pretty good until this moment here. We're st we start losing the bale here and here as well. So I will just come to these places uh, and I'll delete some key keyframes. So I will I'll select the, the selection tool here and I will move those keyframes here. And now you can see there's a bit of a jump. So I will delete the keyframes in between the one that I just created and that should work okay it's fine maybe i can delete a few more and you can see that after effects is doing a pretty good job here let's come to the last keyframe let's click on the mask let's move those points here and i will Delete those keyframes in the middle. I will come here and I will manually adjust those closer to the bell. Okay, so we have a pretty good mask now. You can change it to add and you can see what type of mask we have. It's an okay mask, you know, it could be better. You can play around a bit more or you can use any of the other methods that I'm gonna show you, but it, it's an okay mask. So I'll duplicate this layer now. And on the bottom one, I'll delete the mask. And now on the top one, we have just the bell of hay. So I'll add the text now and type hay. I'll scale it up a bit and I'll put it between those two layers. And you can see that now we've got the bell separated from our footage. Uh, the edge seems to be a bit harsh, so we can select um, the layer with the mask and we can feather. And it's working pretty well. Always could be better, but you can spend a bit more time and you're gonna get a better result. Okay, so for the second technique, we're gonna use the same footage, but we're gonna select the roto brush. So this is the roto brush here, and you have roto brush tool and refine edge tool. So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you only how the roto brush tool works. So I'll select it, I'll click twice on the footage, and you can see that we get this brush. So to reduce the size, you can click on control and the left mouse button, and just drag your mouse left to right or up and down, and you're gonna change the size. So something like this should be okay. 
and now I want to select an outline of the bail something like this and it does a pretty good job uh, I will make the brush a bit smaller hold alt and I will remove from the selection I will add to the selection a bit more here until we get something like that and this is the selection that we've done so now we need to click on the page down on the keyboard so every time we click on page down after effects is going to calculate the next frame by clicking page down again and again it's calculating each and next frame and we can see that every time there's a mistake we can fix that and we can continue clicking on page down page down and continue to fix problems if you're lazy like me you can click on shift and page down which is going to move with 10 frames ahead but there are going to be some mistakes that you forgot to fix if you just click on shift and page down uh, so it's always best to go frame by frame it seems to be working fine i'll remove this i'll continue with shift and page down in this part of the video where we are basically roll brushing you can see the part of the video that has been calculated here with the green so in the beginning we haven't done everything so i'll have to come back in the beginning and do this part as well so you can see here all the green part has been calculated okay so that i'm fine with that um you know you can go and fix it even more if you want to but i'm pretty happy with that so once i'm happy with the whole mask i just click on freeze and after effects is going to freeze the selection that we've made so far it's gonna take a few seconds probably a minute or we'll just wait for it okay so we have the selection now after effects is finished uh, freezing the the selection so i'll come to the beginning and we'll come in the composition here so this is the selection that we've made it, lo it looks pretty rough but we're gonna fix that so i'll increase the feather i'll also reduce the chatter and the feather should be around 40 probably i'll set this contrast to 90 okay uh, I'll duplicate the layer on the bottom one I'll remove the road brush and we're going to uh, create a new text we'll put it behind it and you can see the selection you can always spend more time in creating the selection but usually the roto brush tool is the fastest and easiest way to create a selection in After Effects Sometimes I prefer using the track mask, sometimes I prefer roto brush. For example, here we have um, a lot of contrast, so it might be a bit more difficult for a roto brush. So that's why it's selecting the top of the tree sometimes, but it works pretty well. So here's the selection. Uh, it looks pretty good. So if you don't like how the selection turned out, you can always fix it. It's not a big deal. You can just click on the layer twice, come to uh, the separate layer here select road brush and refine edge and you can see the selection here you just need to unfreeze it and start fixing the selection from here you can change the modes here on how you see the the mask or the alpha so it's up to you i prefer this one so if i want to fix it i can come to any certain frame fix it and after you're done with the selection you can freeze it again you can go to the original composition and everything would be updated there okay so now i'm going to show you the third technique which is separating objects in after effects with a keyer for this technique to work we need to have a background that is in one color or here we have some sort of a gradient but it's not such a big deal because it's pretty much the same color and we're gonna add key light to this video okay so here uh, next to the screen color with this color pick we're gonna just select the color from the sky so i'll go with this blue and we can come here to screen mat and whatever is black here in the footage is what we have deleted from the frame if we change this color you can see that 
we might get a bit of a better selection so I'll just do it like this but we start losing some detail from the leaves here but let's do it like this and I'll bring it back to final result and you can see that we've removed most of the sky maybe we lost some detail here but we can always bring it back and now we're gonna duplicate this by the way you can come to screen mat and you can fix the selection a bit from here if you want to but I'm okay for now I think it's fine I'm pretty happy with what I've got I'm gonna duplicate this layer and on the bottom one I'll delete the key light so now on the top layer we're missing the sky uh, and I'm gonna create a text layer again I'll type big tree and I'll scale the text and I will put it behind the second layer and now we have the tree over our text so you can't achieve this effect with with a tree with any of the other examples because we're actually removing background from the small holes that we have in the tree and we can see the text behind them okay I'm pretty happy with the result so I've played around a bit more with it and I got a pretty good result here with the branches and the leaves but I'm okay for now this is fine so I'm going to show the fourth and last technique now which is going to require an additional software which is a paid one that's why I'm leaving it for last but I want you to know about it because it's really important you can achieve really good results in After Effects but with a software like Mocha you can achieve a lot more advanced results and a lot easier so let's select this footage here and I will come to effects and presets and type Mocha and I'll add Mocha AE I'll click on this button here uh, click on continue no actually I need to change the resolution so I'll change the resolution to full I'll click on Mocha and we have the footage here in Mocha now uh, it might look complicated it's really easy there's nothing complicated about it I'll select the, um, the zoom tool here and I'll zoom into the bay of hay and I'll take the pen tool and I'll make a quick selection around our object so now pull those blue handles and adjust the selection Mocha is different than After Effects because it's a um, planar tracker it's not using any of the contrast points like After Effects does okay perfect and now we're gonna select this perspective tab because we're changing perspective in our um, object and I'm gonna click the forward track tool okay you can see the slip here it looks like a big deal it's nothing I want to track it backwards as well okay so now let's come at the end where it looks really bad and just bring it back and the cool thing with Mocha is that now when we fix this it actually updates everywhere so if I start moving you can see that it's following this selection pretty well I can fix it here a bit more and it creates keyframe but it actually manages to keep the selection really well through the whole time I'll just click on save and I'll close it I'll come here to mat and uh, visible layers layer one okay so I'll create AE masks and now you can see that we have this selection transferred to After Effects I will duplicate this footage again on the bottom one I'll remove all the masks and so I'll create a new text layer between the two layers and you can see that we have a really good selection if it's too harsh you can probably see that it might be a bit too harsh we can come to the top layer click on M for mask we can just feather the selection with two pixels that works a lot better and yeah there you have it this is how you do it with mocha and the next thing i'm going to show you is just to finish up the video uh, in an example like this it always looks best if you have the the text 3d tracked to the to the actual video so i'll select the bottom video and i'll select the tracker window here and i'll track the camera I'll remove the mocha layer from here, we don't need it. 
Okay, so we have the full each tracked and I'll select the 3D camera tracker and you, you get those points here. We need to put the text here behind the bell. So select, let's say these. And I'll create text and camera. Uh, the text, I'll click on R for rotation and I'll change the orientation to zero on all three axes. Uh, I'll delete the winter is coming text, the old one. And I will type the same thing here on our new 3D text. I will move it back because it's too close to us. We need to put it behind the bale of hay and put it between the two layers. Now let's see how it looks. Okay, so it seems to be tracked. And now we have the text tracked and I would like to add a shadow under the text so I'll create a new solid. Okay, a white solid is fine. I'll make it a 3D solid and I'll click on R on the keyboard and change the orientation here to 90 degrees. I'll move it down and we can change the views here and you can probably see that it's uh, the, the solid is not under our text so I will scale it up. So now it's definitely under the text. Okay, and we're gonna come to our text. So now we're also gonna add a light. So point light, I'll select a color from the sky, cast shadows, okay. And we'll move the light up. And we will try to sort of match the position of the sun. On the white solid, I'll put it under the text. And we have some shadow in here, but we need to move the white solid down a bit. It's too close to the text. So you can see now that it's a bit more visible. Okay. And on the winter is coming text, we're gonna come to material options and we're gonna change accept lights to off. So the text is not changing color from the light because the light is behind it right now. And we're gonna come to the white solid, our ground plane. And for material options, we only need to change accept shadows to only, but it says that it's disabled. This is because we're using Cinema 4D renderer and we're gonna change it to change this to classic 3D. Okay, so now it's working. So you can see that we're only seeing the shadow now. So I'll change this to one view again and let's play the video. Okay, the shadow seems to be staying on its place. It's looking pretty well. Uh, the shadow is a bit too harsh, so I will change, I'll come to point light, light options. I'll change the shadow darkness to 30% and the shadow diffusion if we go if you move it to full you can see that the shadow is a bit too harsh so I'll just increase the diffusion okay that looks better way more realistic and it's always a best better idea to select a color from our scene so something yellow works fine we have a shadow uh, I always add those letter box you've probably noticed in the in the other tutorials in the original example, I have also included some color correction and this uh, animation on the Bay of Hay. If you're interested in uh, how you can color correct like that or how you or how to add this effect, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make a separate tutorial on that because this one is too long right now. But especially on this effect, I can create a tutorial. Just let me know if you're interested in that. So yeah guys, these are the four techniques. Let me know in the comments below which one you prefer best or which one you've been using or you didn't know about. I'll be happy to know if you found this tutorial useful and if you're interested in this type of tutorials. Drop a like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what I've created and I'll see you in the next one.